There's my boy. <laughs> Look like you could use a drink. For the first time in the series, Mafia is going fully open world. This means you'll be free to wander around New Bordeaux, which is based on New Orleans, to your heart's content. But obviously you're going to want to do more than just look at a few pretty sunsets or play with the gators. There are 10 or so districts to explore after all. So here are 12 things to see and do in Mafia 3. Cruise round the map. Let's start with something you'll probably be doing a lot. Driving, or walking if you prefer, around the map. New Bordeaux's multicultural criminal families hold an uneasy tension across the city's many, very different districts. There's the bayou in the south and the more affluent Fresco Fields towards the north. Given that Mafia 3 is set during 1968 New Orleans, complete with its layered, nuanced, densely packed socio-political ecosystem teeming with all the strife and tension that turned the south into such a boiling temperature melting pot at the end of the decade, you'll understand that Lincoln isn't all too welcome in certain districts. Unless he's invited, of course. The driving, though, is just as good as anything you've experienced before. All the cars handle differently, and there's even a simulation mode which takes into account tyre pressure, speed, and inertia on the car when braking. You could lose hours just driving around, but there's so much more to do. Commit a crime and stop the witnesses. If you do decide to commit a crime on the streets, like stealing a car, robbing a shop, or firing your weapon, people are going to notice. Sometimes you can avoid it, but if you are caught, you still have the chance to stop the authorities being alerted. Being 1968, people don't have cell phones, so have to rely on the good old payphone to call in the police. If you can stop them getting to the phone and uh, commit another crime, you'll get away with it. No witnesses, no crime. That's how it works, right? Escape the police. Of course, you're not going to be able to stop all your crimes being reported, especially after you start shooting people in the face. So escaping the police is something you're going to have to do. There's no wanted stars in the game, the police are either searching or not. Break line of sight and get out of the cone displayed on your minimap, and you'll be free soon after. Lincoln also has the ability to call off the cops, either before or after the event, by using the police dispatcher ability. This will cost you $5,000 and either kill the red and blue police stones and or buy off the cops for two minutes. All units, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Go look at Jackson Square and St. Louis Cathedral. Something a bit more sedate is taking in all the scenery. New Bordeaux is the in-game equivalent of New Orleans and features the famous French Ward, which is well worth spending some time in. The in-game version has slightly more hills and slightly less one-way streets than its real-world counterpart, but it still contains sites like Jackson Square and St. Louis Cathedral, which you can see here. Install wiretaps. Being a huge open world, there's obviously going to be collectibles, and there's a lot of collectibles. Installing wire traps allows you to see enemies and targets of opportunity in Intel view. It also reveals collectibles and gives you the ability to convert racket bosses. Collectibles take the form of magazines like Hot Rod and Playboy, now complete with articles as well as pictures. There's also posters on the walls and album covers to collect, so you won't be short of things to find. Listen to the radio. There are over a hundred licensed tracks in the game, including House of the Rising Sun, Paint It Black, Help Me Rhonda, Wouldn't It Be Nice from the Beach Boys, James Brown, I Got You, Johnny Cash, The Ramones, and Elvis. You can hear these on the changeable radio stations while driving around the city, and of course, you can turn them off. There is a house in your house. Now you all know what I'm willing to do for my family. Call in help. Of course, you're not trying to take over the city alone. You have underbosses Cassandra, Burke and Vito, who returns from Mafia 2, who will run the districts for you once you've done enough damage to take them over. But if you find yourself in a spot of bother while doing this, you have the option to call in a hit squad. It'll cost you $5,000, but these Italian gangsters will help you deal with anyone who's attacking you. There's also the option to call Jackie D, your arms dealer, for free. They'll arrive stocked up with guns, ammo, tack vests, vehicle mods and health packs. Other associates include the previously mentioned switchboard operator who can call off the cops or block phone calls, and Hank who will deliver a vehicle to your location free of charge. I'm in Frisco Fields and need some new wheels. Hi, I'll get around to you right away. Tail targets. While driving the streets, you'll come across cars marked with a follow icon. Doing this allows you to follow some enemies back to targets of opportunity by tailing them through the streets. Keep a good distance away and make sure you don't do anything to raise suspicion. People sounding their horns at you too much will spook the driver, for example. Taking out these targets causes damage to the racket and gets you one step closer to taking back the district. Take down rival rackets. 
This forms a large part of the game, as it's the way you'll bring down rival mob bosses. Cause enough damage in each district by disrupting rackets, and you'll lure out the boss allowing you to take them out. How you do this is up to you. There's moonshine camps to destroy, enforcers to take out, trucks to shoot off the road, and brothels to take over. You can focus on one area or take chugs out of each operation. Enter restaurants, but not all of them. There are a number of establishments you can enter in the game, but some are more welcoming than others. Any you own or run are fine, as are most in the poorer southern districts, but occasionally you'll find ones which don't like Lincoln shopping there because of his colour. This shop is whites only, boy. Hang around too long and they'll call the police, unless you leave. Or shoot them in the face. We need the police down here! Oh! Shoot bottles. Want something to do in your spare time? Just line up a few bottles and improve your aim. Or fire a few bullets into some bushes and then hit the bottle. See? It's what we wanted to do all along. Break into houses. With the number of collectibles on offer, it's no surprise that some of them are going to be hidden away, and sometimes that's behind locked doors. Lincoln, though, doesn't much care for locks and can break into any location with this symbol on. There's a two-tier QTE event to complete, but just stop the moving icon in the green and the door will open. So that's 12 things to see and do in Mafia 3. If you want more Mafia info, be sure to check out our playlist, where we have videos of driving across the map, a full preview, and one dedicated to all the other Mafia 3 questions you might have. While you're there, don't forget to subscribe, and for more gaming news, reviews, previews, and features, keep it here on Games Radar Plus. Police continue to search the French ward for at least four men believed to be involved in the robbing of the Federal Reserve. We can have a lot of fun.